call it the present. Today is the present day, right? Why do you think they call it present? Because it is also a gift. Every day is a gift for you. It is a gift to you. And you have to use that gift of today in order to build your tomorrow. Always remember that the choice is yours. The classroom of fear or the classroom of love. If you choose to enter the classroom of love in every challenge you have in life, no matter what challenge that might be, whether it is a loss of a loved one in the family, loss of your job, no money, no friends, and worst of all, sickness and poor health. Whatever those challenges are, remember, if you believe, you will become. I'll give you an example. My mother was diagnosed with cancer a few years ago, four and a, five and a half years ago. The doctor told her, sabi ng mga doktor sa kanya, Mrs. Kirino, may cancer po kayo. Just to give an example of the power of your mind. And they said, the doctor said, if you do not submit to chemo and radiation, you will die in four and a half months. I was with my mother when the doctor said that. And my mother looked at me, she said, I don't want chemo or radiation. And then the doctor said, Mrs. Kirino, we cannot help you. You will be gone in four and a half months. So my daughter looks at me and says, Iha, ayaw ko ng radiation, ayaw ko rin ng chemotherapy. I just want to go home. So the doctor says to me, his name is Dr. Campomanes in St. Luke's, and he said, there's nothing more we can do for her, Dr. Kirino. She's all yours. So what did I do? I told my mother, what do you want to do with your body? That is your problem. You have a choice. And she said, give me the best natural treatment in alternative medicine. And I will follow. Do you know I placed my mother on a plant-based diet? Plant-based, based, ibig sabihin, gulay at fruta. At wala nang ibang kinakain niya. Bawal ang asukal, bawal ang karne, pag meron kang cancer. Kasi yan po ang pagkain ng cancer. At papataba ng cancer cells ang protina at ang sukat. And so I said, okay mom, this is your regimen. Sa awa ng Diyos, my mom survived for four and a half years. And that is using the power of choice to tell you, to demonstrate to you that you can be in charge of your life if you decide to do so. The power of your mind has the power to control your body and has the power to control the course of your life. If you listen well to me today, you will bring home a seed. Deepak Chopra said, from a seed is the promise of a forest. If you place one seed in one heart today, if I am able to plant one seed in one heart today, I will have a forest. Even one forest, kahit isang gubat lang, isang gubat lang ng mga puno na malulusog. Isang gubat, gubat, gubat. Isang forest of wellness that believes that if you use the power of your mind, then you can control your life. What you believe, you will become. So what are you thinking today? Most people believe that if they eat healthy food, their body will be healthy. That is true. But you also have food for the mind, and you also have your food for the heart. So, anong pinapakain po natin sa ating puso? Anong pinapakain nyo sa inyong kaluluwa? Anong pinapakain nyo sa inyong kaisipan? The choice is yours. Before I go, I'd like to share with you the true definition of mabuhay. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng mabuhay? Di ba greeting yan dito sa Pilipinas? Sa lahat ng mga dayuhan, sa lahat ng mga nagbibisita sa Pilipinas? Ano ibig sabihin ng mabuhay? What is the root word of mabuhay? Buhay. 
And what does Bohai mean? Life. All of you are ambassadors, not just of yourself, but also ambassadors of your own country. So when you say Mabuhay to someone, you are wishing that person the gift of life, the gift of all the blessings that life can give you. So when you say to somebody Mabuhay ka, you are wishing them all, all the blessings, lahat ng mga biyaya na kaya ng bigyan ng Panginoon sa ating lahat. So let's do an exercise in Mabuhay. And can you put your arm around your sick leg? I will break tradition because I don't like very formal speeches. But I want this interactive. Can you put your arm around your sick leg? I don't know if our esteemed beings are going to do this. <laughs> All right, but anyway, can you look at your sick leg and say, Kapati? Kapati. hindi kayo sure. Kapatid, para ang hinang-hina. Gusto mo na ba kayo? Hindi? Once more with me, look at your sick mate and say, Kapatid, mabuhay ka. Kapatid, mahal kita. Kapatid, sagot kita. Pati utang mo. I'm dead, Joshua. It's just to demonstrate to you that the spirit of Mabuhay lives in all our hearts. The spirit of life lives in your heart. In your diploma, it's only the start of your graduation from school because you will start graduating from the school of life every single day of your life. And when you graduate every day of your life, may you graduate with flying colors. Mabuhay sa tayong lahat. 